Hey, what's up again guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna be creating a RGB rainbow pot. The pot keeps on changing its colors and it's on a loop. Before the video begins, I have a request for all of you. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me a bunch and will definitely make my day. Anyway, let's begin now. So first of all, we're gonna insert the pot. I'm just gonna quickly insert a cylinder okay there you go okay now i'm just gonna rename my part to rgb part because it just makes it much easier to keep a track of everything next i'm gonna insert a script into it just delete this and now let's code the part Okay, so to start, let's begin laying out our variables. So we're going to type in b equals to script dot parent which refers to to the part as it is a parent of the script just making it a little easier for you guys to understand next we're gonna come down and we're gonna type in x equals to uh, zero which is a uh, numerical value we will get to this later as we create a looping function in the next step so we're gonna come down two times and we're gonna type in while true do and then we're gonna uh, come down and I'm gonna type in weight and then brackets now we're gonna bring the weight a little bit more below and now from here we're gonna start coding the loop so if you would want to change the color of the brick through all the rainbows colors we will change the color of the brick by changing the whole value so we're gonna type in b dot color equals to color 3 dot from hsv and then we're gonna type in x comma 1 comma 1 which is gonna give us this red color the three parameters inside the brackets represent the who the saturation and the value in order from left to right now we're gonna come down once again and we're gonna type in x equals to x plus 1 over 255. We change the x value as this loop repeats, which is responsible for the rainbow effect. So if you don't write x, it would just stay at the color red. Basically, what this loop does is that this block of code will run in a loop and as we do it, the color of the brick will be redefined with a new x value for the who, also known as the first parameter inside the bracket x value will increase by adding 1 over 255 since the color values are in 255 scale every time it loops it basically shifts the hue of the part which makes the rainbow effect happen eventually the brick will change the color back to red which is where the color of the part was in the first place to make sure the cycle repeats again we use an if statement to change the x value back to zero so we're going to come down and we're going to type in if x greater than equals greater than equals to 1 then when the x value reaches a value equal or greater than 1 which is equals to 255 over 255 the value will reset back to 0 thus giving us a rainbow effect so now we're gonna come down and we're gonna type in x equals to 0 now coming back to weight so this depends on the amount of seconds where you want the color to change. So for example, if I type in 5, the color would change every 5 seconds. So if you like want it to be really fast, just leave it at nothing. And if you like want it really fast, you can type in like 0 0.5 and it will like go real fast. By the way, this is in, in seconds and not minutes. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now to make the script look a lot cleaner, we're just gonna uh, go back two times from wait. And there you go, it just looks a lot cleaner now. Okay, so let's close the script now. And let me just uh, open up my toolbox real quick. 
and I'm gonna add in a neutral spawn over here and let's check it out it works and there you go the pod is changing its color so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye